but ultimately, uh, it is your birthday today, uh, Mr. Richard Nkrumah, and this is from uh, Grace Nkrumah, uh, I believe your partner, and then also uh, Daniel Adua. Yesterday, you encountered, um, he's a, a sound technician here, uh, he encountered a situation in Tema. At the, at the, at the yeah, so ultimately, I had to take somebody who was um, not well to Let, let's do this well. To the pot let's clinic. do this well. And so he's thanking Auntie mm. Nana, good who is managing well the Well, and say good morning to me, and let's good, deal with the situation morning. proper. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. You're coming to blast. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. But I can't believe it that somebody um, collapsed and was taken to the pot clinic in Tema. Mm. And there was no, because this was obviously an emergency situation. Yeah. And it wasn't treated as such until the gentleman who took the lady, a lady that he didn't know from Jack, identified himself as a media person. Who does that? Yeah. And then also it's because uh, they said they needed to identify a relative of the, the one who When was somebody has person. collapsed, do yes. you identify a relative before you attend to that, them? That, that brings to mind. That brings to mind. Hmm. An interview I watch of uh, Jibodi Dosu. Alio? Yeah, Alio. Um, when the husband, I think, passed out, mm. and ultimately they had to go to the hospital for one hospital, major hospital ship, major hospitals. They, the sense of emergency was just not there. Yeah. And I felt for That's her that right. morning. At that time, I think I watched it in the morning, too. Yeah. I said, You won't oh. believe it because, you know, her husband. Um, was a former deputy governor of the bank, and of even chairman, I think the EcoBank Eco board. So that's a that's a huge figure we're talking about. Yeah, that's big that man. And so uh, we're talking. So about it really doesn't matter who you are. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. It's just. It's just I mean, when you are in a vulnerable situation, yeah, and you're taken to a, a facility, and nobody is able to identify you. I mean, it's still the whom you know kind of thing. How could it be? When you're not well and it's an emergency situation, it really doesn't matter who you are. Yes, it definitely doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. If you're taken to 37, if you're taken yeah. to Kalebo, if you're taken to the police hospital, if you're taken to a nearby clinic, it's the, it's the condition you're in. Yeah. That's what's yeah. most important, not who you are. But unfortunately, I mean, it... Gee. Well, so we have to thank you, Auntie but, Nana. But, but we, somebody, somebody came through. You you Auntie Nana came through. Yeah, so yeah. Auntie Nana Auntie at Nana. the port clinic you in are, Tema. You, you were the only angel uh, around the port clinic. Uh, and we know the port clinic is run by Gapua. So yeah. That's right. Charlie, this is, this is one report that I have to forward to uh, the IGP. Uh, Pol Polans. No, he's, uh, the, he's the boss at Gapua. Oh, the Ghana Port and Harbors yeah, Authority. No, no. And Mr. if Polansa. the clinic is under Mr. you, Polansa. then, yeah, Mr. Polansa, your, your people should not be able to identify who before they attend to them. Good morning to you, and Mr. If Polansa. And if somebody Antinana, has collapsed... Good you, you, are, you have been uh, exempted <laughs> okay. from all day. Yeah, I think I should just follow your cue. So good morning to you, Auntie Nana. Thank you so much <laughs> for what you did. And uh, the rest yesterday. who didn't do well, emergencies. Shame on you. And all those who had medical facilities who... When it comes to emergency, they have to look face, look face, look face. Shame on you. Shame, shame, yeah. shame, shame. We're going to activate the phone number so you can send us a message. I think if you have been treated unfairly, uh, just give us the narration and mention the name of the facility. We'll re-echo it here on the show. Yeah. All right. That's so fair. let's move on. We have to do the newspapers. Um, Dr. Baumia is back. Yeah, Dr. Baumia is back. Okay, so let, let's do the Daily Graphic. Yeah. yeah, that's where the story is. Front page of the Daily Graphic newspaper, VIP back from medical leave. So there's a smiley VIP there. And the president plus the first lady. And I see Samira Baumia way behind somewhere. Uh, Vice President Dr. Muhammadu Baumia in the company of President Akufuado and other dignitaries and his arrive, uh, on his arrival at the Kotoka International Airport last night. So welcome back to our Vice President. We hope that he's had enough rest because, okay, so there you have it in your shot as he arrived yesterday. The president seemed really, really excited to have him back. We hope that he's had all the rest because the work ahead is massive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, listen, you know what? Sometimes Ghana is always just, working. It's normal. Sometimes you can just go and leave, and then when you resume, maybe the first week, yeah, but the following week is as if you haven't been on leave. Cry. 
So we hope that they won't load him with too much work. So that's him interacting uh, with some ministers there, uh, colleagues of his, if you like. Everybody really, really super excited to have him back. Yeah, yeah we've had so many back. things. So but many speculations God, about his health. And we thank God he's and well. And now seeing him, yeah. No, yeah. we're happy. We're happy. We're yeah. happy. Yep. We thank God for life. Yeah. Fantastic. Do guys hug like that? No, it's normal. <laughs> I <laughs> thought guys do the handshake. Uh, you know? Know? Yes, I do. We are gay, but it's a gun idea. It's normal. Mm. What is it? Oh, so this was massive, massive. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot uh, did of I tell you I was people. invited too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was late in the day, so. Wow, these are huge personalities lined up to receive him. That's interesting. Nice. Okay, all right, let's move on into other stories. Oh, who was it? Okay, uh, let's do the rest of the stories on the front page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. President cracks the whip, suspends Upper West Regional Minister over that's so, that's so. Attack. But we know it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's also yeah. being meddled yeah. in some yeah. controversy or whatever. But I really, really don't even understand the minister. The police people arrested some. Mm -hmm. Hoodlums. And they were taking them to the police station. Mm -hmm. And then he decided to intervene because he wanted to hear their side. I don't yeah, know, like, what yeah. he, he thinks he's what? A law court or he's a, <laughs> he is the law. Uh, like, I don't get it. I, I, or he's a police station to I himself. Also do, I also don't get, yeah. I also don't get the, the whole scenario. You, you try to, because I called a friend here who, who lives there around in the capital. So I was asking yeah. and he was trying to give me, and he said, um, you know, sometimes the politicians come under excessive pressure from the True. party people. True. So, but the thing is, that is why you are there as a leader. Exactly. You have to be assertive yeah. and make sure that you don't set the wrong examples. Yeah. Because your actions would I mean, just then say fester that, okay, let, the, let sure them go through the process yes, yes. and we'll give them the necessary support. Yeah. Yeah, but also because this is not the first incident in yeah. the Upper West region, we've had quite a couple. And also and across the country, the president had been promising that, look, I'll make sure that the right things are done yeah. and uh, whatever that needs to be done will mm. have to be done right. But that also brings into, uh, into the center stage the interferences by political appointees, politicians and the political elite and uh, the would be in our society in some of these cases yeah. all the time. Now, I hear it's not easy. Some of them are battling, apart from the pressures, they're also battling spiritual interventions and things like that. So it is not easy to take on any kind of appointment. Wow, wow. I know, you need So like it means that some spirit we need, told him you to need, go and intervene. I didn't say that. I said apart from the fact that you get political interferences, mm -hmm. like you've said, mm -hmm. you also have to battle sometimes with spiritual attacks. We've heard that sometimes you need like a prayer warriors to be behind you you know yeah it's not easy but yeah once you decide to accept the position it comes with res responsibilities <laughs> and you've got to live up to it so one day you'll be we giving, really one don't day you'll care be their side issues we'll see, we'll see we don't care say. their side issues that's your own business <laughs> it also comes with goodies and you enjoy that so yeah, you true, also have true, to true. Uh, suffer the consequences leadership is leadership. Uh, also on the front page ken of heads for court he challenges Portions of Strauss report on 2.25 billion bond uh, dollars bond. That issue simply will not go away. So we'll continue to discuss so it. The argument now yeah. is that Strauss will went outside its bounds or remits mm. as far as the law that establishes Strauss is concerned. So. The, the key question I asked yesterday was: uh, This report didn't come out in January. Yeah, it did not. It's been <laughs> around for a while. <laughs> Uh, we so why is that we, we, we didn't hear all these initial exactly this initial. yeah because mm. you know initially when the reports came they said he was exonerated exactly <laughs> and everybody kind of hailed it uh, and then suddenly we're beginning to question and now we're headed we're headed to the Supreme Court I think you know uh, the evening of uh, that would be the evening of yes before yesterday mm. that evening that will be on Wednesday evening I read the 140 page reports try to and those sections really for which the, the government through the Minister of Information is arguing um, necessarily should not have been the responsibility of Shraj. Mm. If you want to take those details, 
then you say that, uh, <laughs> that there was something fishy or something wrong with the way or the involvement of the minister just because mm. of his alliances with the companies that okay. were involved. Yeah. I've heard also, so and I haven't read that particular so, 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 so when you read that report... Was it that part of the judgment? As in, was it... Was part it of the report, yes. Or was it, was it just commentary? Because you know sometimes judges would say things that are not part of... No, for example, the petitioners want to claim that he, there was a conflict of in interest situation. Yeah, Shraj was that was the key thing. Out. So Shraj went to look at the assets de declaration of uh, he particularly, mm. whether he declared, because it's known that he has interest in... Mm. Other, yeah. Because uh, along the commentary of the p petitioning or the content was that uh, Data Bank was involved, blah, 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 was involved. He was a former director, shareholder, or founding member, mm -hmm. and all that. So um, they, w they looked at it. He didn't declare that he was a director of all shares in in any of those companies that were, that we're talking about, data bank specifically. Mm -hmm. And so, well, that led to some conclusions also okay. by the Shraj. Mm. And ultimately, well. when you want to take those parts, it could be used for political purposes. Yeah. So, yeah, but but I, I think that it's still a baggage that will not just go away. You could go to court and the court will go say that Shraj really per what its mandate is it's not supposed to go there yeah but that can be used for the politics but office. that will make a lot of difference so let's wait and see what yes, the court definitely. says definitely. Uh, in fact let's wait till they file and then we'll see exactly you know what they what they want the court to do mm. uh, but the last headline on the front page of the daily graphic madan lord's government economic policies quickly on the back page of the daily graphic uh, GIPA, that's the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, provides pineapple sakes for a coffee processing factory in the central region. There's Gifty Kakali Klanam, who is the boss at the Ghana Export Promotion Authority on the back page of the paper. And Railway Authority to demolish structures at CMB area in Accra. Uh, there's a, a geographic, uh, there's a aerial, you know, view. aerial view of this area like if you can really appreciate it can we just take it up a bit so that but uh, i'm sure this was taken from the and it looks like a slum it looks like a slum man it is a not it looks okay so uh, they've outlined the uh plans for the demolition of railway quarters known as uh, the cmb area in a crown sunday february 4. so this is just going to happen on sunday this is to pave way for uh, the private commercial development of the area an evacuation notice signed by the chief executive officer richard uh, dumbo cited by the daily graphic stated that a tax force would be dispatched to the area to demolish all unauthorized structures i see why the daily graphic is interested in this because it's just in their backyard abby so if it goes down and a fine building comes up, that will be good news for them as well. That's it for the Daily Graphic. <laughs> forgive well, me. Uh, yeah. No, not forgive me. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just being a little yeah, mischievous. Yeah, still saying. <laughs> Kali, <laughs> me, me mind me. Okay, so we have um, the day the Guardian Times has on the front page, Finance Minister to Sue Shraj over $2.25 billion case. As on page 16 of the paper. Then we have Upper West Regional Minister suspended. His name is Suleimana Al Hassan, Upper West Regional Minister. And then we have called repairs, $4 million in CA case to Supreme Court. And AMA tax 11 tax force members for extortion. But critically, let's look at on page 17. Uh, the Commercial Division 7 of the Accra High Court yesterday referring the case of a $4 million uh, financial loss to the state involving four former executives of the National Communications Authority to the Supreme Court for an interpretation of an article 19.2 E and G of the 1992 Constitution. And the court said it halted proceedings to avoid the danger of usurping the powers of the apex court. And uh, William TV, former Director General of NCA, Eugene Bafo Bonia, former Board Chairman, Ano Wusu Al Haji Salif Usman, uh, Limuna, a former Deputy National Security Coordinator, and George Derek Opong, a private citizen accused of infractions in procuring a listening device, contending that they were entitled to adequate time and facility to enable them to make their case. All right. Then we have uh, on page 15, the AMA apparently sacking 11 of its tax force and basically 
uh, was a case here. It says the AMA has dismissed 11 members of a tax board for failing to discharge their duties. And they said the 11 were stationed at specific streets within the central business district of Accra. However, we supported by the Assembly's monitoring team taking and specifying some of monies from some traders loitering and sleeping on duty. Now, we know the AMA boss has all this agenda of making sure that he rids the city of uh, squatters, hawkers, uh, illegal traders, and wants to make sure that he stamps his authority, and this goes on for a number of um, months, if, if not years, because usually the election year, it doesn't work. <laughs> so we, we're giving a grace period from now to 2017. <laughs> 20, no, 2019. Because we know Maybe 2020... We're not. 2020, ni Maybe we can't say that exactly. I've heard, Mohammed, ni I've heard like a, an assembly member describe him as slow but sure. So oh. he's quiet. I don't think he's slow. But I he's an action I've, I've gone to have a meeting with they him. They say he's very before. quiet. He's, a he's not like hija, 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 hija. But yeah, he's but, but I mean, and, and, he, and, I, and I have seen, based on my interaction with him, that he yeah. notices things. We okay. went to have a meeting with the, with him, the company I work for, and um, he's a, he's somebody who knows what he wants to do. Yeah. The thing is, um, we're, we're talking from Pol precedent. Political pressure. Yeah. There's something called yeah. political pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, you know, many of these quarters have their MPs, political leaders, and no, all No, you're that. just trying to say that all these quarters and hawkers, they, they have votes. Well... So 2020, <laughs> they were threatening in January. <laughs> Even though we know, of course, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Nothing. I just yeah. want a party to just do that, and, and that would be the norm. Because when you go to other countries, you don't see that. Yeah. And a typical eg example I have seen in, on YouTube is Kigali. Kigali, I, I, I don't know, as for everyone, apart from South Africa, story. Um, and and let's say Tunis, where I experienced, and uh, Algeria, uh, Algiers. I've not seen African country in Niti Niti, sir. Let's do the final uh, whilst Roland tries to figure out. Oh, no, you're done? Yeah, I'm done. Ah, I'm done. Okay. Uh, the final newspaper, front page of the final, poor returns on oil cash investments. Uh, $625 million invested in five years, yielded only $25 million. Economist calls on the government to change strategy. AMA sacks 11 tax force members. That story in the Times, Roland brought it to us, also making its way here in the Finder newspaper. Three Nigerians on trial for assaulting security guard. And the work begins on 9 million Ghana cities factory at Savalubu. That's one district, one factory. And updates, if you like. Let's go to page four uh, and see the story about three Nigerians who apparently are on trial. It says uh, three Nigerians are standing trial for assaulting a 23-year-old security guard at the community 19 Regimental Estate in Accra. The accused person, they give the names who have been charged with conspiracy to commit crime and assault, were said to have beaten up Samuel Nyakum, or Nyakum, the security guard, whilst he was at post on October 9, 2017. The background to that in the paper, Ghanaians caution against cervical cancer, uh, and then many other stories. In the, so killings in Bimbala, two suspects arrested. Also an update, two suspects have been arrested by the Northern Regional Police Command in connection with a recent shooting and killing incidents at Bimbila uh, in the Nanumba North District. The two, Al Hassan Hadi alias uh, Apaman and Isa Al Hassan alias Mobila, were arrested on Monday after they reported themselves at the police station. The rest of that story, you've got to grab the Finder newspaper to read. That will be it for the stories that I'm taking a look at in the final newspaper. All right, so let's go to the Daily Guide newspaper. The Daily Guide has on the front page, Uforiata to Siu Shraj, Baumia is back. <laughs> and then another fire minister of another more attack. <laughs> Today, it's a Friday. Usually Fridays, you don't find these things. But when you have hard news <laughs> ushering you into the weekend, that's <laughs> a good one. So we have $4 million um, NCA deal for Supreme Court. Let's go to Center Spread and see whether we'll find some paper. Okay, so we have... Uh, Center spread, the news one pull out. It has a story. 
It says, um, Fennec Autry was by my side in murder case. And then we have call, Kessi doesn't pay musical dues or bore. Kujo Entry calls for tourism partners, and Kujo Entry is um, the chief executive of the Ghana Tourism Development Company. Kujo Adami Entry, good morning to you. And, um, we'll but uh, meet the African who works out by lifting cars. Yesterday, I wanted to share that story. There's actually a video of it on, oh, the, on is the that BBC. Is that on Ghana They lift cars all the time. I Sh think it's uh, it's just the 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 thing behind this particular guy. Oh no! But uh, who I was mean, referred well, I mean, to as Ghana, Ghana strongest. He was referred to as fat. Yesterday, I started by saying like a 16 year old who was weighing like 122 kg at 16. Was that him? Yes. Like a very unusual story. So he's kind of like turn around. And he is using wow. his strength now, wow. and he wants to, but, he wants but, to but, get but, the but title Africa, Africa Strongest. But seriously, why, why are we congratulating? Yeah. It is a lot of discipline. Well, not, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to have your, your bo body big, for it, to, it takes a yeah. lot of discipline. So, yeah. so he was naturally big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it takes a was, lot of discipline. I have was, to say kudos to him. He was, he was being made fun of, you know, he yeah, was laughed no, at. Yeah, I know, I know. And it was, yeah. His I mean, was I mean generally, those who, um, especially guys who have uh, big, but usually they have low se self esteem and mm. all that. And you can see from them that when we go for meetings, they are usually in the middle or the back. You know, that kind of thing. They don't talk mm. that much. But it's not all of them, though. No, Some people are super name, proud name, of the way they name, look and yeah. the way they are. Yeah, I know. All right. You're through. Let's do the, no, let's to do do the dispatch. Yeah, I wanted to do the yeah. dispatch. Uh, front page of the dispatch entering parliament. $23 million, or $23 million was spent by Ghanaian MPs. And um, this conversation... All of them? Yeah. In, or 275. Yes. And um, this conversation... They spent how much again? Um, let me just give you. I think the story I read, each of them spent 390,000 Ghana cities. And even that's one, eh? It's that's an estimate, it's six, too. It's $6,000. It's an estimate. Yes. You know exactly. Averaging. Some, some people Averaging. would spend a lot more. It and says, they keep spending. It says that a candidate spent approximately 390,000 okay. Ghana cities to secure the party primary nomination and compete in the parliamentary election. So it's a okay. two-way process. The nomination. Yeah. That's the party primary. Okay. And then you go and compete in the national election. Mm. That's the, the constituency election. And uh, that was for the 2016 elections. It means that the presidency, the honor of <laughs> it was on 23 million. And then beyond that, when you, when you finally become NP, you know it doesn't end there. Whether you are in the in oh, government when you become or MP, you are MP. in opposition. Why do they people still collect still their money? So this is what I have said. You know, people will come for but you for school they have fees. Money or don't they have money? People come to you for school fees, medical bills. Uh, there are people who come and tell you that they're getting married. Uh, people would say, oh, yeah, to me. You know, they need money to go and rent. All sorts of stories. And they will be they will line up in your home every day as we speak right now there's an mp watching us at least uh, who has people waiting for him outside and he knows it's all about the dough but the question i ask myself even if they had trees sitting in their houses that was bearing money wouldn't the tree be dry at some points mm. huh roland yeah and where do we expect them to get the money from? If it's like, a, sometimes you and sometimes you really see like somebody with a bag of, uh, a Ghana must bo go bag full of money sitting in their boots and they're just dishing it out just like that. And you wonder where are they getting the money from? You Ooh. know what they say, if you can trace the source, if you can trace the source of somebody's worth, wealth, then you know that they are not getting it from the right means. Mamavi, I have a straight answer for you. Why you don't have money? All this complaint, you ask Ayo. questions. Ask questions. Journalists here. Ayo. Charlie, let's go. Look, there's a church in the U.S. It's asking its members to celebrate Valentine's Day early. When we know Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February. I but think it's a working day. But No, it's, it's also for the Catholic Church, for Ash Wednesday. Okay. It's, a, it's an Ash Wednesday. So the church, the Diocese of Birmingham in Alabama. <laughs> what do you say? Hey, Dances of Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> for the first time, and it, it wrote to the parishioners, uh, it says, for the first time since 1945, Valentine's Day falls this year on Ash Wednesday. Okay. Some have wondered whether a dispensation from the standard laws of fast and abstinence would be granted. And so, 
out of respect for the importance of Ash Wednesday in the lives of so many, including our non-Catholic brethren, and the way this custom underlines the importance of the Lenten season at its outset, a dispensation will not be given. So those who wish to celebrate Valentine's Day may fittingly do so the day before or, or on another non Are you Catholic? Day. I used to be a Catholic. Okay, that's why you're so like yeah, you know, to the story. Yeah, like I didn't see the it's a season of Lenten, so the, you fast. Ah, yeah. So oh, so that's why you're excited. So after that, you don't. <laughs> you don't so please celebrate it. Yeah, from Ash Wednesday, you continue. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll do the business and Otherwise financial times. Otherwise, you have to wait after the fast. We'll do the business and financial times, and then I'll give you the number if you want to send us a WhatsApp message. Let me do that now. Zero five zero eight two six. Three eight eight one zero five zero eight two six three eight eight one. That's the number to get interactive with us on WhatsApp and also on regular SMS. I have a. So we're doing messages. the last paper. We will do the last paper, the Business and Financial Times, and then we'll quickly go online. On the front page of the Business and Financial Times, Casa Preco granted ISO certification. It's a lot of excitement. Uh, at Casa Preco Company Limited, so they've got their bosses showing the certificates <laughs> on the front page of the. You paper. know, you talking about trees, <laughs> etc. Yeah. Let me give you a message from a regular <laughs> Moses Akromotu, <laughs> who is with the Daily Graphic but in charge of the Western region. <laughs> was in Accra, I think was in Accra some years ago. Yeah. So Kudita took him there. <laughs> Good morning, Moses Akromotu. So tell Mama V that Psalm um, one verse three says they are like trees planted <laughs> along the river bank bearing fruit <laughs> each season their leaves never wither oh. and they prosper in all they do amen <laughs> amen amen <laughs> you don't have money you say but it's no good. you case close uh, also on the front page of the business and financial times mp spend 86000 us dollars to get elected according to a study that's what we've been uh, talking about bid opens for Kumasi Airport development. Right Consult wins IIA, and IIA is the Maiden Invests in Africa SME Excellence Awards. Okay, uh, and then on the back page of the Business and Financial Times, real quick, ICC pays courtesy call on Chief Justice, and then the Right Consult Award. The full story is on the back page of the Business and Financial Times. All right, let's do a few of your messages and then we'll go to myjohnline.com. So some text messages now. This one says, I applaud the suspension of the Upper West Regional Minister. Many of us have huge issues to raise with the way things are being done in our NPP, but uh, the party's integrity is at stake. All right, uh, so this is coming from Raymond Osafujan in uh, Kwewuta for sending us this message. And this one says, finally, Allah has proven it wrong to those who want the downfall of our handsome V. Okay, so that's a message coming from Tofik in Wungo, uh, a suburb of, but I didn't get the suburb of, you didn't continue. Uh, this one says, if it was an Ashanti regional minister or a close friend of Nanad, okay, I see where you're going, or Hine Yabua, Dodo in a man for Deyinga, I will not continue with your message. I see where you're going with that. Why don't we deal with things that come up instead of uh, predicting or talking about things that we're thinking in our minds, if it happens, president won't take such an action. When it comes, we will discuss it. Until then, I'm moving on. This one says, we thank God Vip is back. May our good Lord restore his life to a resilient state. Uh, and it's from Augustine Salto in Techiman sending this message. A.U. Farouk in Tamale simply says, good morning. We thank Allah. The vice president has arrived in good health. Uh, we're waiting for him to answer the 170 economic questions unanswered. I see where you're going. Thanks a lot for your message. Uh, this one also says, okay, I think this is one of those messages. I have to read uh, again and then come and share. So I'll read a final text message. Chief Fire Officer, where's the rent money? Ghana National Fire Service cry foul. I be in Tamale. I am not sure I quite understand your story, but thank you for sending this through. If you've got a message, you can also uh, drop it to us. Let's do online roll and walk at myjohnline.com. Well, so let's go to myjohnline.com. And Fred is doing some wonderful job. 
So as we go straight away to Facebook, shuttle back to MajorOnline.com. Finally, we've landed. Yeah. All right. Uh, something on Fashion Friday. And mm. we will start our Fashion Friday conversations, God willing, next week here on the show. Great. Yeah. Great. So, but there's something on Fashion Friday, the best braid hairstyles for men in 2018. Who knows? Later on this morning, we will just... Um, use this for a fashion Friday. We'll go into you know this story and then we'll see what else you can rock. Well, like you've been rocking this one way hairstyle. Sa if it was a woman, I mean, if like it was a woman, you'd say something. I'm waiting for it to go back. So we'll see. So maybe how about some breaks, like some cornrow or something. You know. Right. So let's move on. We'll come and you we'll the one come this second. I'll open fire on you. If it was you, you would say something. Right. In what pupils learn under trees after contractor abandoned school project, the construction of a six unit classroom block and a teacher's bungalow from Tusa LA Primary School awarded a contract in 2011. Okay, so it's been abandoned, and that's the picture that you see there. Uh, Daily Post editor in trouble for defamatory publication against George Anda. Yeah. Lawyers for the Deputy Communications Minister George Anda have threatened to begin a defamation suit against editor of the Daily Post newspaper, Michael Dukusi. The rest of the story is on myjohnline.com. So go to myjohnline.com, you get all Happy of it. Happy Sunshine complies with EPA directives on sanitation, community engagement. Is a tomato paste manufacturing company... Is it the same one in my area? It says it has adhered to a directive by the Environmental Protection Agency to improve sanitation in the community it operates. A uh, $2.25 billion bond, Ken Operator's lawyers failed him at Shraj, according to an NBC MP. Uh, there are some photos. Smiling Baumi arrives to presidential ceremony. Yeah, it was all joy, happiness. No appointees about the law. Abu Jinnapo signals after minister's suspension. I was 12 when I married a 35-year-old man. Okay, this is a piece that you want to read. Uh, and, you know, yeah. Water shortage. Ex expect calls for active implementation of national water policy. And there are more stories on myjohnline.com, including what you may have missed here on John News because we upload all our content uh, and you can conveniently check them out on myjohnline.com. You just have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and then you find the videos and then you, know, you can just click on something that you've missed and catch up. Okay, uh, S uh, Jamestown also gets a new chief, apparently. Let's do CTFM online, Roland, that will be you. Okay, so let's do CTFM. Suspending regional minister, commendable, but deputy can't act. Oh, but the deputy That's is the acting. controversy. That's but the controversy just acting, now. has not been appointed. I think in the past, we've seen other ministers. So you find, for instance, maybe a uh, uh, Eastern regional minister yeah. being asked to act. Uh, as a not deputy. No, act as minister upper west regional minister something okay. like that so there are i think it's also one of the conversations that we'll have today to see are maybe. we what's saying the, are we saying what's the because you have you were vetted to be deputy minister exactly so your role is strictly deputy minister but I mean, a minister can come down and be a, to act as a dep to act in the stead of a deputy minister yeah okay but i want to ask mm -hmm. since we don't yes, know I want to, I want yeah, to we all don't uh, know, so yeah, go ahead. So the, the deputy minister mm -hmm. is, a, is a minister of a sort, right? Mm -hmm. Went through the vetting process before the appointment committee. Mm -hmm. Has the same, could we have the same competences as a minister? But he remains deputy. He's assigned by the minister. Okay. Yeah. Not appointed by the president too? Appointed by the president. Okay. Appointed by the president, vetted by the minister, uh, vetted by the appointment committee. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So then, so then, then, mm -hmm. then the appointment committee approves the nomination of the president. Yeah. And then they are sworn into office by the president. Mm -hmm. ah. I see where you're going, but, but the there's president. also there's also an apologies because. Uh, our camera was crossed, so you may have seen somebody crossing our camera. Apologies for that. 
Uh, there are people who have also said that the president cannot because the appointment is made um, in consultation or with the approval of parliament, the president cannot uh, by himself go ahead and suspend someone or fire someone. So we need we need yeah. we need some constitutional education on this. Me and you, our heads can't figure this yeah, sure. out. No, no, but we yeah. really get the talk. But yeah, <laughs> uh, by bystanders, uh, hey. roadside. Yeah, roadside. Yeah. We're just using well, no. What, we, what do what logical do we reasoning, maybe? Uh, 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 yeah, but do, so let's let's it? go on. Let's get a the ordinary Ghanaian. That's what we, that those are the phrases we use. Street ordinary. lawyers. Yo. We are like Hed, Hetman menace. <laughs> Fact finding mission. A waste of public funds. Amy. Baumia arise to Razi welcome from medical leave. Baumia, you are blessed. God bless you. Allah bless you. Shukran, shukran, shukran. Mashallah, mashallah. Uh, we have Nanado suspends Upper West Regional Minister. And then Mamavi's people and their controversy. They come Which one is that? <laughs> Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> about the minister whether, suspension whether would deputy can act and can Vigil act. vigilante groups all right okay so let's go to any other we have beyond this website we're going to go to the bbc you know where there were some mine workers uh, trapped in south africa uh, because of power cuts uh, quite a good number of them well this one says rescue underway but they have all been rescued i mm. think that's the latest uh, rescue operation okay all right. So power has been restored to the facility. And I think that the, 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 the other side of it is when they were trapped, people were saying all sorts of things and trying to figure out how they were probably suffering uh, down there because, Moses. Moses because is of telling no me power. Something. Well, let me finish my story. Because of I no know. power, Moses no ventilation. Oh, yeah, but apparently they were just fine and they are all okay now. All yeah. right. So let's go to the main Africa page. Yes. Uh, article 2. Is it 216? Okay, 215 of the mm. cons 256 of the Constitution. It says the president shall, with the prior approval of parliament, appoint for each region a minister of state who shall represent the region, the, who shall represent the president in the region and be responsible for the coordination and direction of the administrative machinery in the region. The president may, in consultation with the minister of state for a region and with the prior approval of parliament, appoint for the, re for the regional for the region, the deputy minister or deputy ministers to perform such functions as the president may determine. Okay. But you remember there's a okay, classic okay. case. So this one, it says that the president consulted with the minister. Okay, 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 so, okay, so okay, okay. So it means that mm -hmm. that is why we have the deputies, the appointment or their vetting is not done concurrently. Their, or their announcement is not done concurrently. Because you have to, according to the constitution, you appoint the ministers first, then in consultation with the ministers that you have appointed. When consultation with the minister, mm. the, the ministers that you have appointed, appoint a deputy. So it means that the deputy cannot act in the state. It is so true. I said it a classic. True, true, I said a classic true. case. Street sense. It you remember true. when Kwabena Donko uh, resigned as minister of power? We all were questioning why. Um, John Jenapo was not made. And this one was given to my Moses, Moses Alcobo. Okay. John Jenapo was deputy power minister then. He was never made a substantive minister. He was never, um, he never took on the position. But we had Setepe, the finance minister, Roland, acting as power minister. You remember? Yes. Yeah. So even though, on that level. Even though John okay. Jenapo was deputy power mm. minister. So mm. apparently, and. Uh, An oversight. Uh, no, 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 no. The. They are vetted under different provisions. Yes, so of the yeah. from yes, from what I have just exactly. read. Exactly. Moses, thank you for this. This is a screenshot. We are all street lawyers. It, it's a screenshot of the constitution. It's also but Moses is a better street lawyer. Yeah, but you see, it's a screenshot. He's giving me a screenshot of the Ghana constitution. It's illegal. That's very unconstitutional. Who said? For educational purposes. Please, ah. let's move on. Don't take us there. Okay, for educational let's purposes. Do, let's, let's do go. other stories. Zimbabwe former vice president attacked uh, so uh, Joyce Mujuru's NPP party says she was pelted with stones in an act of political violence so there's also something that's been trending except that we don't have time because I wanted us to take a bite of that but we don't have time we probably may come back is Richard Quest's interview with the Zimbabwean presidents uh, we will come back to that maybe sometime later on in the show if we can
Uh, this is where we have to end it. This is where we have to end it. We'll bring you sports in a bit, and then we've got uh, lots of other conversations to come here on the show. Thank you for all the messages. If you didn't hear your message, we will read it a bit later on in the show. Stay with us. <laughs>